everybody bunny berry here 100 day ruffle challenge and i just got a little goodie box from the lovely uh matt monarch and angela stokes i ordered from rawveganbooks.com www.rawveganbooks.com and yes matt and angela hi so i got some vanilla powder and some goji berry powder and my cacao finally came so i can make something chocolate and i also got some bee pollen and then matt always throws in um <laughs> i don't know if it's just for me because you know i'm a little bit but here's some natural calm and if you guys haven't taken this stuff it really works it really does help you feel calm and I like the uh, sweet lemon flavor better than the orange because the orange is really, really orange. So I am going to make, oh, and I also got some spirulina. So I am going to make um, a smoothie on cutting board cam today and using some of my new ingredients, powdered nutrition. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna make something up. So let's have some fun, come with me. I am going to start out with a young coconut that I still have uh, from the holidays, hoping it's still good. And I use the butt end of this awesome knife to just kind of wedge my way around. And find this little soft spot, it's usually about to one and a half, two inches down. So I'm going to open this coconut up and see if it's still good inside. I know everybody's going to tell me there's a million easier ways to open a coconut. I know, I know. This one works for me. So I'll see you in a second. Now, I have heard rumors that there are some people out there, like I heard Wendy D, who was a member of Raw Foo, was one of those people, who can magically, like, use the back of the spoon and slide it around the coconut and pull out the entire skin inside in, like, one fell swoop with, um, you know, without having to dig and that's not me that's not me people no 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 I'm I'm no I'm no coconut expert but I do love the flavor so what I do is I pull it all out onto my cutting board and then I just try to take out any of the chunky parts that I have gotten on my coconut meat and get those off and then I'm going to add that to my blender, and smoothie it up. Now I'm going to chop up um, a head, or actually it's a heart. The heart of one romaine. Add that to my blender. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Get our greens in there. Mm -hmm. So I've got coconuts and romaine. And now I'm going to add a little bit of spirulina powder. Add that in there. Hmm, why not? I haven't used this before. I'll use two kind of spoonfuls. Make it nice and dark and green. Oh boy. Here we are again, uncharted territory. Now I'm going to add a few dates. I'm going to take the pits out, of course. Throw those into my blender. Let's see how many I'm going to use. Maybe four. 
because I'm scared. Ooh, I put the pit in there instead of the date. I'm scared of the spirulina. Oh. Let me put some <laughs> dates in here and sweeten it up. Mmm, yummy. Okay, so four dates. And now I'm going to add some cacao powder. And same thing, this is kind of uncharted territory. So I am going to go light on it and then adjust adjust to taste. So this is what the cacao powder looks like. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. This is, oh gosh, it smells, it smells divine. So I'm going to, I'm going to put a little bit of that in here. What I think would be a couple of spoonfuls. And then I am also going to add a little bit of this new organic vanilla powder. I just love vanilla and so I know that this type of vanilla in a powder form like this may not have, this, this is just a, a bag of powder, it may not have the same, you know, vanilla -y punch as, ooh, I don't know, it smells awesome, the kind that you get in an extract. I'm just going to add a little bit of vanilla in there. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. And I am ready to blend. That's, that's about what I'm interested in in this smoothie. So, what I have got going here is coconut, romaine, um, some spirulina, a little bit of cacao powder um, and some vanilla bean. So that sounds, that looks like a pretty good, oh, and dates. So that looks like a pretty good dinner for me tonight. I got some work I need to do. I need to fuel it up. So here we go. color it makes it. <laughs> that color. It's like, it's like dark, dark, dark green. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's really good. Mm. Let's pour that in a glass and drink it up. Delicious. Since I still have the holiday spirit, I'm going to use my big Happy Holidays mug. Watch this color when it comes out. I don't add ice or anything to my smoothies anymore. I used to make them like, you know, milkshakes, but not since it's so cold out. Wow! It's like a big, thick, green soup. And it's delicious. So, there you go. We've charted new territory today. We've used vanilla powder and cacao powder and spirulina. So, I will write down what the benefits of those using those ingredients are and add them to this post so that you can um, experiment with your own versions of powdered nutrition. So, enjoy and eat your veggies, especially your greens.